What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing day, folks. It is Wednesday, August 21st. Each and every single day that ticks on by, we get that much closer to the bull run. Make sure you tune in tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Do not forget it. Good old Rips live stream on YouTube, Twitter, TikTok. I think we even throw in Twitch. I don't even know. Multi-stream platforms, though. So you get to pick and choose where you want to listen to me from. We'll go over all the current crypto news, what's going on in the markets. We'll open up the live phone call-in lines. About 20 minutes left in the show. It's about an hour show, give or take. You can call in, ask questions, give me comments, concerns. Well, we figure out what's going on out there. And we'll look at some price charts to see what's up. Market's been pretty boring, though, right? Pretty flat is what we're looking at. As we told you, we're in that massive chop range, accumulation zones, choppy McChopster, go what you want. But we have not yet seen the move up to the upside, but it is coming. We know Bitcoin's gonna make a powerful move to about 74,000, and that's gonna indicate the next push-ups here. We know XRP needs to get past not only 66, but 75 cents for its next push-up as well. That's all coming. It is all coming. A lot of people thought it was going to happen sooner rather than later, but it looks like it's going to happen later. But 2025 is still set up for all coins like we have predicted earlier in this year. But this is still going to be the year of Bitcoin. As we look at the prices, Bitcoin, $59,450 is currently down 2% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum coming in at 2583 it's down 2.67%. USDT and USDC both coming in at 99 cents as XRP is a mean lean 59 cents, folks. I mean, it's pretty much been holding this 0.596 to 60 cent region for the past 48 hours. It's down 1.6% in the past 24 hours. Total cryptocurrency market cap, 2 trillion, 121 billion. Where are we going to go from here? Well, I think we're still going to chop. I think we're going to chop until we get closer to the elections. When we get closer to the elections, I think we're going to see the, these markets react, especially, you know, if Trump wins, we're going to see these markets react in a very strong and powerful wave because we know his stance behind crypto. We know Ginsa would be out at that point. If Harris wins, on the other hand, we saw that she actually wants to promote Gary Gensler, which is not a good thing for anyone, but at least we'll have someone else new in the SEC. Uh... You know, rocky times ahead. That's all I can say. But Bitcoin, 100K, it's going down this year. We get this article that came out this morning. Bitcoin metrics signal a weak demand as the Bitcoin ETF hype slows down. It says apparent demand has slowed considerably since early April and even dipped into the negative territory this month. This is on-chain data indicates a significant slowdown of Bitcoin demand since early April with metrics like crypto quants demand indicated showing negative growth, reflecting increased selling. Despite the bearish signals, some metrics remain robust. Long-term holders are accumulating Bitcoin at record levels. The total market cap of stable coins, that hit an all-time high, suggesting increased liquidity with historical precedes price surges. However, the growth in ETF inflows and large investor holdings has notably slowed down. Folks, as I said before, if you think for one second that the general public sold the top of these crypto markets to the institutions, I got something coming for you. It didn't happen. It's not even close to happening. For the time, what are they doing? They're trying to keep prices as low as they can so the institutions can accumulate because they know a couple of months from now, even six months to a year from now, these prices are going to be nowhere, nowhere by where they are today. They are going to be completely unrecognizable. So what do the institutions have to do in the meantime? They need to try to keep it as low as they can buy as much as they can, and then they will be able to sell when we hit the moon, the top-ish part of it, because I'll tell you right now, they are going to dump every little bit of it. Bitcoin, it pops over 61,000 as XRP leads gains among the majors. It says some traders expect the market movements 
near to Friday when Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell is scheduled to speak at the Jackson Hole. It says Bitcoin was trading above 61,000 during the Asian trading days. People are getting ready for Jerome Powell's remarks to come out. Well, Bitcoin, well, then it hasn't acted too positively here, huh? Down. XRP down a tad bit. Solana's down. Now, look, we had, what was it now? Probably about three weeks ago, we had that massive crypto dip. It's not even called a crash. The dip. Everyone panicked. Everyone got nervous. Some people even got shook out of their positions. About... What, I think it was 48 hours later, we were back to the previous levels before that dips. I'm telling you, this is an emotional roller coaster, this ride we call crypto. And what's very simple here to understand is that you sell the green, you buy the red. I'm telling you right now, crypto is a very, very easy game. It's a very simple game. You just got to control your emotions if you control your emotions you'll be able to control the market conditions and the roller coaster that it's taking us through if it actually put this article on it's pretty interesting swiss banks turn on instant payment systems it says consumers in switzerland can now send and receive payments in seconds following the market launch of instant payments across the banking industry Around 60 financial institutions are now able to re able to receive and process instant payments, covering more than 95% of Swiss retail payment transactions. By the end of 2026, all the latest, all financial institutions active in real retail payments will be reachable. Now look, we already see this being adopted. Already see this being adopted. What comes first? Instant payments. We've, we've spoken about this. We kind of got off the subject because we thought we drilled that into everyone's head uh, enough times that they would understand it. You cannot have an instant settlement if you do not have an instant payment. So what comes first is the instant payment. What are we seeing here? 60 financial institutions are now able to receive instant payments that's 95 percent of swiss retail payment transactions so you get your instant payment once the instant payment is up and running and working correctly you move them over to the instant settlement you can't have an instant payment without the settlement folks and that's where we're moving like just like we know dillip rouse told us the holy grail for ripple and for xrp right First, get them to move over to the digital rails. Once they have moved over to the digital rails, have them nibble and nabble at XRP, not holding it, but just using it in workflows. And then once they see that it works, have them hold XRP. That is the holy grail from Dillup himself. It's the same thing we're seeing with these payments, folks. Get them to move over to near or instant real-time payments. Once they have moved over to real-time payments, you get them over to real-time settlements. Now, this is the video that everyone's been shouting about and they're all upset about it for some reason. I really don't know why, okay? This is Raul Paul. I'm gonna play for you, but let me sum it up before we play. It's 58 seconds. He bad mouths, well, suppose, I don't even know if it's really a bad mouth. He talks down upon XRP and ADA. And this has people freaking out for some crazy reason. I don't know why, because I want you to listen to this, and then I'm going to show you something. Pretty funny, actually. XRP, it's like from two bull markets about ago. You might be right. You might love it forever. Just please move to whatever the strong momentum is. I know there's that fear in your head is this time it'll be the big one. You'll get plenty of notification. You get back in, but don't miss the bull market because you're in a narrative of past. And the communities are huge. And I don't want to get attacked by people online for this, but I just feel like you're being done a disservice by being in a cult. Our job is to be mercenaries. We're in the job to make money, not to be a cult. Cults don't make money except for the leaders. So I. I know it hurts people when I say this. Cardano, XRP, there's a whole bunch of these. I really hope you're right. But hope is... 
So he's calling them all of a sudden old technology, old coins. People should be looking elsewhere. Yada, la, la, la. And everyone's freaking out. Folks, there's nothing to worry about here. Because remember, when Raul Paul came out and he said that he was going all in on XRP not even a year ago, he's betting big on XRP because he sees the real world utility and a vibrant community. And then we get this little that people just need to avoid. Yeah, of course he wants them to avoid it. He wants to buy it. He wants to buy it and keep it as low as he can so we can get himself and all of his boys in. He just told you, and we don't forget this in crypto, folks. He just told you a couple of months ago he was going all in on XRP. The fact that he went all in on XRP, do you think he sold all of his XRP? What have we gone up? 10%, 20% max, even if 50%, you think this dude sold everything? He knows where this is going, especially with XRP being the only cryptocurrency within the US that has full regulatory approval and with Ripple having approval to now work and operate their business as it tends to operate within the United States. Do you really think that this man has flipped his stance from going all in on XRP to selling and dumping it and completely looking the other way? I don't. I think there's a little, one little shoulder fakes, head fakes. You know, he's trying to give you the old juke move. And I bet you six months from now when this thing starts to go up, he's going to be all about praising XRP. Remember what these guys say. Look, it's all over the internet. All you got to do is a quick search with his name, XRP. Boom, put a little filter on there six months back. You'll find everything that he said because I won't forget it. I'm going to leave it like that, though. Look, wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.